guys and welcome to an all the FPV guy video. As you know, this week I'm at CES 2017 in Las Vegas and one of the top optical cameras of last year belonged to the Autel XR Premium. And this week Autel have announced a whole new design. It looks a lot the same and as I keep saying, the orange one is really the Autel brand. But here we're seeing a camera module with 360 degree camera and the other thing that's worth noticing is we have retractable legs. So now the legs can get out of the way and you can operate 360 cameras. We also got a larger battery unit on the back here. Now these are still in design and development, so there's no real time frame on the flight time. But we're looking at a very much cleaned up aircraft. The other thing I really like is notice here on the front, you have optical obstacle avoidance and you have obstacle avoidance on the sides and in the back here. So they now have 360 degree optical avoidance using optical not audio sensors which is going to give you very high quality optical avoidance now we've got with me natalie right here and unlike me she actually knows something about it so step up to the camera for me and Hello. tell me a bit more about this yeah so actually what we're doing here what we are showing at ces as well as in our trailer video is a concept it is not a full prototype it is we're showing the world hey here's what we've been in our labs working on for the last year or so. So the things that we are actually announcing are modules for our current generation XR and XR Premium drones. We want to make sure that we're supporting our existing customers. So that's huge. Yes. Because space, we all know that the XR you could pop off the camera. Absolutely. But yep. that basically means so existing camera or existing XR users can now get a one inch type sensor. Yeah. So what we're showing, these are just concepts. What we're still working with is our current XR Premium and XR drones. And we're trying to provide long term value for those existing customers. And you're right, we did design those with a modular. Um, camera gimbal very intentionally. We wanted to be able to allow users to have that same drone and upgrade the camera or switch the camera. So our two modules are... So the two modules are the one-inch sensor? Yes. And... One-inch sensor and the FLIR Duo. A FLIR Duo, so vis visual and thermal sensor yes. in the same. Yep. What is the resolution of the thermal sensor? So, oh, I, that is actually... I will need to double check on that one. That's what happens when you talk to people that has thermal sensors. It's true. Oh. Um, I will need to double check on the officials. We're, we're going to put that on the screen here once we check. Yes, we will. I. Uh, but but you, being you have the two sensors in one, that means on the yes. on the iPad, you're able to toggle between the two views. Yeah. You can use the thermal to look for somebody in the snow and you can use the visual to see what you're actually in kind of terrain because it's not always easy to fly using a thermal sensor. Yeah, and to be clear, you know, it is Lear's Duo camera, which is also why I don't, I want to be very careful not to say the wrong specs for it. Um, it is not our proprietary thermal camera, but so, our So this is Lear's? It is. It is Lear's thermal Duo camera that we are um, mounting onto our X-Star and X-Star Premium drones. But, but that unlike a lot of the drone announcement that has been with thermal cameras that is using unknown origin thermal cameras using a FLIR camera means you're getting a lot of history and yep. it's that's the same one I use I use the view camera and the XT camera on the Inspire which has very specific qualities so you know you're getting a good thermal camera yeah and what they're doing with that dual visual and thermal image is so cool because um, it allows you to see picture in picture both side by side you can switch between the visual and the thermal in flight um, and you can get a blended image where you get a detailed that is very useful image. the blended image i like yeah. that one actually yeah. so but i know i talked to a couple of other people and what i was told was even though this is just a design yes this is the direction we're going to see yeah, we are, I mean, the technologies we're working on are, you know, the things like computer vision, um, of course, continuing to look at modular sensors to see what, what do people want, what do people need, um, and we are also announcing our SDK is, uh, will be available uh, coming soon, and that is, we're so excited about that, um, because with, with our modular sensors and our SDK, we really kind of feel like year two is going to be the year of endless possibilities. We're opening it out to the world. Um, we're showing how you can use that same great platform in multiple different ways. Um, and then our other big announcement is, of course, the Kestrel. It will be available in 2017, and we're looking at a new, more compact... The, the Kestrel, the fixed wing? Yes. I want one. Do, so, I, get, do I get one for a review? <laughs> well, we are looking globally for initial customers. 
um, and it'll be kind of a case I, I can crash things. anything. <laughs> So, sure. so guys, there you have it. We're going to get some close-up pictures for you and put some more information on the screen. Stay tuned. we got more CES 2017 videos coming up. And I really hope we see this exact product. You know, before we do this, we can't wrap up yet because they are also showing an awesome new radio. Again, this, it's a concept. But yeah, these are the things that we're working make, on. Make it real. <laughs> Here's what it is. It is like a notebook. So right here, you open up the screen, and inside, you pull the sticks up like this, and now you have your radio, you have your controls right here, and you have your built-in screen. To close it back up, you lift up on the stick, fold it down, lift up, fold it down, close the lid. It's not going all the way, so There's I didn't do lock, it right. Yeah. There's a lock, I shouldn't break it yet. So there you have it, that is the cool new, I really like this radio, just because it's so compact, and it's so easy to travel with. So stay tuned for more videos and more about our hotel. Yeah, we love to hear feedback. That's why we show our concepts too. Thank you. Is this, uh, how do you close this? Um, <laughs> oh. It's okay if you break it, because then I didn't. There are a few different... Um, I think we should put it down. And pretend we didn't know. <laughs>